Hi, my name is Unique, and in this video, I will be talking about teen pregnancy and my personal story on how I found out I was pregnant at 15 and had my daughter at 16. So, yeah, and I'm making this video just in case there's anybody out there that's going through a similar situation and don't know what to do or if there's anybody out there that's young and sexually active and just doesn't think that this can happen to them trust me it can because i didn't think it could happen to me but it did so yep all right so this is how i found out i was pregnant i found out i was pregnant the day after the fourth of july and for like two weeks before that i kept getting these weird symptoms like i would wake up at five in the morning to go pee and that was weird for me because I was a heavy sleeper. I will always sleep throughout the night and just waking up two weeks in a row, literally at five in the morning to go use the restroom. It was weird. I was just like, what? So I had um, Googled it and the first thing that popped up was pregnancy and then pregnancy symptoms, freaking, fr what? Okay, frequent urination. And I was just like, but I brushed it off. I was just like, nah, that's not me. So then I kept getting these bad cramps for like two, the whole two weeks. And I really didn't pay it any mind because I usually got bad period cramps and I just thought my period was about to come down. But it lasted for two weeks. I'm just like, okay, where's my period? But it didn't show up. So before I even missed my period, I kind of like knew something was wrong because of the cramps and everything. But I just didn't pay it any mind. Girl, you okay? Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So, what was I saying? Alright, so I had woke up at 5 in the morning again to, you know, go use the restroom. And I had looked in a mirror and I seen these blue veins all in my chest. And I was like, what? Like, it was really weird. So, I had Googled it. And the first thing that popped up, of course, was pregnancy. So I was just like, something is not right. And you know, you could just tell when something is not right with your body. So it's like I knew something was going on. And I kind of had a feeling that I was the more that I seen pregnancy pop up. I was just like, you know, what if? So that's when I kind of started to know. And I had caught my friend Corey. And it was like 5 in the morning. So she's sleepy. Like, why is this girl calling me? But she answered. So... Um, when she answered, you know, I was telling her all my symptoms, everything that I was having, and how I was scared and stuff. And I was just jumping to conclusions, like, what if this, what if that, what if this, what if that. And she was just like, calm down, you need. Calm down. What if you're not? You're overreacting. You need to take a test before you start doing all of that. And she said that because out of all my friends, I'm the overdramatic one. I'm the one that just does the most and overthinks everything. So she was just like, you know, you're probably overthinking. So just calm down. And I was just like, okay, hung up. I did not calm down at all. I was still scared because it's like I knew something was wrong. So I had called my older friend and I told her about everything. So she had dropped me off a pregnancy test the, um, later on that day. So I had FaceTime Corey and I went to the restroom and I was, you know, unboxing it, taking out the box and I did not take it serious. I was just like, okay, it's probably going to come up negative. So, you know, I was just still in denial that that couldn't happen to me because I was just like, no, that's not the plan for my life. That's just not what's going to go down. So I was just like, nope. So I had read the directions and it was basically like pee on the stream and wait like two minutes and your results will pop up so i had followed the directions and i put the test down and before i could even take my finger off of the test i seen two lines and the second one was like a little light and i was just like and then like 10 seconds later it got real dark and then that's when my heart dropped I could not breathe i cried and cried and cried and cried and my friend was just like what does it say? What does it say? What does it say? And I couldn't even get it out. I started crying somewhere. I was just like, it says I'm pregnant. And she was just in shock. Like, she couldn't believe it. And I was just on the floor just crying. Because, come on now, like, I'm 15. Positive pregnancy test. I'm pregnant. Like, what in the world? So, I had went to my room and I cried the whole rest of the day. And I was just thinking in my head, I was like, hold on, this was a family dollar test, so this test probably not even 
accurate. So I was just coming up with any little excuse to negate the fact that I was pregnant. So I had went to my friend's house the next day and told her mom. So her mom took me to Walmart, got two clear blue tests, and we went back to her house. So my friend had took the test. I was like, you need to take this test so I can make sure that these results are real, accurate, you know, all of it. So she had took the test and of course it came up negative. Then I took the test, came up positive. So at that moment, I was just really scared and crying and, you know, trying to analyze everything and think, okay, how am I going to be able to tell my mom? How am I going to, you know, deal with this? And I was just really, really scared. So my friend's mom was there telling me, you know, everything is going to be okay. You do need to tell your mom. And I was not trying to hear none of that because I really just wanted this whole situation to just disappear. And me telling my mom was my biggest fear because I knew it would hurt her. And that was the last thing I wanted to do. And a lot of people were probably like, okay, so why would you do what you was doing to get pregnant then? And when you're a teenager, to be honest, sometimes you just don't think about what you're doing and you make careless decisions and you just don't think about the consequences of what you're doing at that moment. So it was just me being stupid and young and dumb. So I had went two weeks without telling my mom. And for those two weeks, my friends and her mom and the boy and his mom was basically telling me, you know, you do need to tell your mom. You need to tell your mom. We need to know what we're going to do about this whole thing. So I'm just scared. And I did not want to tell her for nothing. So one day we was at a barbecue and we was on the way back. We was in a car. We was lit. We was having a good little time. And then that's when she got this message and she was just like unique what is this and she showed me and then i read it and it says give unique a pregnancy test and delete this when you see it and it's from a text free number so at that moment my heart went in my butt and i was just scared i'm just like are you serious like who would send this to her phone like who is this who knows about this that would just do this so i'm just really scared and then my mom was just like, who would do this? Are you pregnant? Do you have something you need to tell me? She was just doing all of that. And I'm just like, no, it's probably somebody playing on your phone. You know, I'm just trying to come with every little stupid excuse to just get her mind off of this. But at that moment, I knew she was just going to find out really, really soon because my mom just does not let anything go. And she was going to get to the bottom of it. And yeah, so she was just, I could tell she was trying to believe me, but then she was just like, uh-uh, something don't seem right. So when we had got home, I heard her tell my grandma that she, she was going to get some pregnancy tests. So then that's when I had got on my phone and I was just searching the ways on how to get a negative pregnancy test because I was not ready for her to know still. So it was basically like you could mess up the chemical balance in the test by putting it in toilet water or, you know, just basically diluting the part that you pee on so i had did that when she came i basically put the test in the toilet water and it came up naked and then she was just like thank god you get on birth control regardless of you doing it or not and that's when i really just felt bad because i was just like oh my god like how is she gonna feel when she does find out that i am pregnant so um the next day she had called me in her room and she was like come here and i was just like yes and then that's when she was just like i had a dream and i'm just like oh my god because every time she says that that means she did have a dream about something and usually all her dreams is very accurate so she was like i had a dream that i gave you the pregnancy test just to give it to you again and it ended up coming up positive and i asked you who the father was and she said the boy's name and that's when i really got scared i was like oh my god and that's when i knew she was really just gonna have to find out soon and i had to tell her so i was just like oh are you serious wow that's crazy and i'm just saying all of this i go back in my room close my door i get on the phone y'all i think i'm about to tell her i think i'm gonna I'm just tell her so i haven't made up in my mind that i'm gonna tell her later on that day 
so yeah i had went in her room when she went to work and i had got one of the pregnancy tests and i took it because it was three that came in a pack you know i had used one of them the um night before and i had took one of them to take so of course it came up positive and i put it in my room and i was just like okay i'm gonna show her when she get here and i'm gonna tell her so i hear my grandma on the phone downstairs and she's really loud so i heard everything she was saying and she's on the phone she was like oh Oh, for real? Okay, I'm going to go up there right now. I'm going to give it to her. I'm going to look at her when she's taking it. And she hangs up, and I hear her coming up the stairs, and I'm scared. I'm just like, oh, my God. She's about to find out what is going on. So she comes up the stairs. She looks at me. And she's like, come here. And I go, and I'm just like, yes. And she was just like, you finna take a test, and I'm finna look at you right when you take it. So she was just like, go in the bathroom. And I'm scared. I'm like, oh my God, she knows something. So I go in the bathroom and I wait on her to come in there. So she comes in there. She has a cup and she was just like peeing this cup. So I'm just like, okay. So I, she has a little plastic cup and I'm standing up trying to pee in it. But I can't because, you know, I had just took the other test and I just peed. So I didn't do it. So she's staring at me and my mom is on the phone the whole time. And she has her on speakerphone. So my mom was just like, did she take it yet? Did she take it yet? And my grandma goes, no, I'm looking at her right now. She up here trying to do something slick. I'm looking at her. And I'm just like, oh, my God. So I'm scared. And my mom was like, give, give her the phone. Give her the phone. And I was like, yes. And she was just like, you need, is there anything that you need to tell me? And I'm up there hesitating, like, okay, should I tell her now? What should I do? And I... I didn't answer for a second. She was just like, hello. And I was like, y yes. I'm up there stuttering, just scared. And she was like, what is it? And I was like, I might be pregnant. And I'm still beating around the bush because I don't want to just flat out say, okay, yeah, I'm pregnant. So I was just like, I might be pregnant. And she was just like, why you say that? And I get my grandma on the phone. I was just like, I can't pee. I just peed. I had took a test earlier and I was going to show you. Later on tonight, so I had one in my room, got the test, and I showed it to my grandma. She was on the phone. Yup, she's pregnant. And I just hear my mom cry. And I'm about to cry, but it really just hurt my heart because I never intentionally wanted to hurt my mom. And just knowing everything that she did for me and me just going, it's like a slap in her face. So I was just really sad, and I was just up there crying right along with her. And so she was just like, give your grandma back the phone. And I did. And my grandma was just staring at me. And my mom was just sitting up there crying. And I just really felt bad. Like my whole world felt like it was just coming to an end. So my mom was at work. She had ended up getting off work early. And she had came home. And I'm thinking she's just going to come in and probably just do something real crazy to me. But right when she came in, she was just like, are you okay and stuff like that and I told her I was having the bad cramps so she ended up taking me to the ER because it was like close to like 10 at night when she came home so she ended up taking me to the ER and that's when we was just sit waiting and waiting and waiting because they have you waiting forever in the ER and she was just like you know what do you want to do and I told her I didn't know because at the time I didn't like I was just finding out I was pregnant. You know, she just found out. And I didn't want to, like, I was really thinking selfishly at the time. So I was just like, you know, I don't want to be responsible for a child. I don't want to throw away my teenage life. And I was just like, you know, abortion, abortion, abortion. So I told her, I was like, I don't know, I could get rid of it. And I was like, I mean, that's what seems best. And she was just like, I mean, it's whatever you want to do. So... Um, they had finally called us back and they took my blood. They tested me for um, every STD that there is out there and they took my urine and they gave us a room. So we waited hours after that and then the lady had finally came in the room and she was just basically like, congrats honey, you're pregnant. And I'm like, congrats nothing because I mean, this is nothing to be happy about right now. So um she was just like you know you're negative for all the stds telling me all of that and she was just like we would just like to confirm that you really are pregnant so they took me to the ultrasound floor and i had my first ultrasound there and that's when my whole 
perspective on a lot of things changed because right when they gave me that first ultrasound and I seen my baby for the first time I mean even though she didn't even look like a baby it was just like this she literally looked like this and then I seen something going like boom 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 so the lady was basically like baby has heartbeat and I was like oh my god reality was kicking in it's really a whole human a living person growing inside of me like what in the world so the lady had gave us a list of ob's to go to and we had left and it was like six in the morning then so we had left and when i got home i was just like you know do you know what you need you want to do and i was just like i don't know she was just like you need to know soon so that's when I had thought that night and I was looking on YouTube at different girls that had got an abortion and how they felt about it and girls that were young and had their baby and you know how they felt about it. And I just prayed on it and I was just like, oh my God, I don't know what I, what I want to do. So the next morning, it was like 12, she had woke me up and she was just like, you know, what do you want to do? And I was just like, I'm going to keep it and i couldn't believe i said that like oh my god I'm, I'm finna keep a baby i'm finna be a mom i'm finna have a baby like what in the world and she was just i mean if that's what you want to do i'm behind you 100 percent. so that's why so I right when i made the decision and knew that i was keeping her for sure that's when i went out got a job and immediately started working and i worked so i was up to eight months pregnant and i had to stop because of health issues but um, I had went out and got a job because, you know, I didn't want to put the responsibility of me having a child on my mom, even though she was behind me 100%, you know, made sure that she had everything she needed if I was missing something. Um, you know, I didn't want her to feel like she was going to be responsible most of the time, and I wanted to show her that I was responsible. So, you know, went out, got a job, and started stacking up, getting everything that she needed. So when I was around 35 weeks pregnant, that's when I started doing my weekly visits and they had did an ultrasound and they did a brief. Oh my God, girl, is you okay? Ooh. Just grumpy, this one. So um, when I was 35 weeks pregnant, I was doing my weekly visits and that's when I had got an ultrasound for um her and they tested her and they ended up saying that something was wrong with her breathing so they had put me in the hospital and monitor her overnight and released me the next day saying you know everything was okay so i'm thinking everything all smooth all good then that's when the next week i had went in and they gave me another ultrasound and they were basically saying that she was measuring too small and they didn't want to risk me going full term and putting her in distress or any anything else that could happen so i had to be induced and i was really kind of sad because i was just like oh my god i want to keep my baby to the whole 40 weeks so the next week they scheduled an induction day for me and i had her at 37 weeks i was in the hospital for two days in labor and ended up having her february 23rd to get her she started to wake up but um yep she was born february the 23rd and ever since then i just thank god every day for blessing me with a healthy and beautiful baby and i do thank god for putting me through this experience because it's had its ups and downs of course but at the end of the day it made me a stronger person and her being here is doing nothing but just motivating me to do better in my life and go 20 times harder in everything that I do to make sure that I get where I need to be in life and make sure that she's okay, she's straight, she has everything that she needs plus more. And baby, she's going to have it. Say yes, I am. Yes, I am. But yep so i'm not promoting teenage pregnancy saying go out there get pregnant you know i'm not doing that but i am saying if you are in a similar situation or you know you're going through this it's not the end of the world and the way i look at it is that god doesn't put you through anything that you can't handle so there is light at the end of the tunnel even if you are going through a dark situation and you feel down or you just think that you know nothing's gonna get better it is because he doesn't put you through nothing that you can't handle so that's the way i look at it and i just stay positive about everything 
and I'm just really thankful. So yeah, that's my story and I do hope that it has helped somebody out there. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. What girl? So yeah, thank you. Say bye. Got some new. Oh, bye. 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 Bye.